Good morning to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Your joy is inevitable. The weeping may endure for a night, but the joy comes. That means it must come in the morning. I say, let your day spring forth speedily in Jesus' name. Let joy manifest in your career. Let joy manifest in your businesses. Let joy manifest in your finances. Let joy manifest in your destiny. Let joy manifest in your marriage in Jesus' name. Good morning to you in Jesus' name. Jesus. Welcome back to the Wisdom Meditation. Remember, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Our verse for today is from Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1, which says, Dishonest scales are an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. This is exactly what it's speaking of. It literally speaks of the scales that you use to measure the weight for selling. For example, if you use this, this balance, let's say you sell flour or you sell sugar or you sell something, right? There are those who do not give one pound of flour or the pound of sugar. Let's just say sugar. Let's just say you're selling sugar. But there are those who the scale is not balanced. So it is not equal to one pound of sugar yet they are selling it at the price of one pound of sugar. God says this is an abomination to him. Likewise, if you are overcharging for a service or you are overcharging for a product, this is using unjust scales. There are those who have businesses. There are those who sell things. Now, I understand that sometimes there are premium products. I understand that. That means that the quality with which this item was made, the material with which this item was made is of greater quality than another item. So I understand the value is more. I understand that. However, a lot of the time we see no discrepancy in, um, in quality, yet one price is greatly higher than the other. God is calling this dishonest scales. If your scale is not properly calibrated, literally, and you are selling things for people, you might be stealing from people. This is why you're not seeing your business prospering. Why? Dishonest scales. But a just weight is his delight. He was literally speaking of these people who sell stuff. They would wait. And some of them, what were they doing? They were rigging the scale. So they maybe put something extra on the scale to have you think it balance or they remove something to have you think it balance whereas it not so they not selling enough but they getting the money so they may be selling 75 percent of a pound at the price of one pound those who are doing that you will never see your way it is impossible for you to see your way those who raise prices for no reason you will not see your way i understand things get more expensive price going up Here's an example. Or one of the, how do I say, should I say lucrative? One of the most lucrative businesses in Dominica some years ago was the bus industry. So those who drive buses. Nowadays, not so much because the market has been so overly saturated with buses that people barely see their way. But let's say, for example, if I have a bus, I give you my bus to drive for me then I could easily get from you $150 a day. $150 a day. Translate that to, let's just say, 20 days. So that's $3,000 you make for me. They're not even including what you make for yourself. For yourself, you might make about $300 for your day. But here's the thing. Some time ago, the price for adults from St. Joseph to Roseau was, I would say, $250. But then the gas price went up, so the bus fare went up. Fine. But then the gas price went down, but the bus fare stayed up. Then what happened? Then the gas price went up again. Then the price went up again. Okay, fine. But then the gas price came down and the price stayed up. Then the gas price rose again. So the price rose again. Right now it's $4 to go from 
St. Joseph to Rosso, and then the gas price dropped. But the price stayed up there. Now what is happening? Now the gas price is rising again. <laughs> Oh, the gas price has risen. I am not prophesying and saying the price goes. Please do not. Why you don't increase the price? I understand that gas getting more expensive. So if you are increasing your price because the gas get more expensive, okay, fair enough. When the gas gets back cheaper, why don't you reduce the price to where it was? This is where the problem is. And God say, okay, you know what? Let me <laughs> let me mess all you up a little because I'll be being wicked. Let me oversaturate the market. Let everybody buy bus now. No, I am just using that as, a, as an example. I do not have anything against any bus driver or the bus drivers. Apart from the price go up of gas and diesel and the bus price go up, that is understandable. But when the price of gas drops back to where it was, why don't you drop back the price, the bus fare to where it was? God does not like unjust scales. Whether you're overcharging for a business or service, something that you know is not worth that price and you are selling it for people at that price, you are an abomination to the Lord. God does not delight in you. You will not see your way. And I know I mentioned this in a previous video. Those who overcharge for stuff, why aren't they rich? They try to get rich of one item. They press the poor. You will not see your way. This honest scales, abomination to the Lord. So you do your due diligence to make sure whatever you are offering, it is properly priced. Be it a service, be it a product. If you're selling sugar, make sure you properly weigh the sugar so that it is not less than a pound. It is better if it would be over a pound and you're selling it at the price of a pound than for it to be less than a pound and you're selling it at the price of a pound. So if you have to recalibrate your scales, if you have to reweigh your weights, whatever you need to do, do it so that you would not be an abomination in the sight of the Lord. And this is where we bring our video to an end for today. I say good morning to you and congratulations in Jesus' name. Why am I saying congratulations? Because I am celebrating with you. Why am I celebrating with you? Because I see you celebrating. I see your cause for celebration has come. Your marriage has come. Your promotion has come. Your increase has come. Your growth has come. Your breakthrough has come. Your healing has come. Your cause for celebration has come. Therefore, I celebrate with you. I say good morning to you and congratulations in Jesus' name. Jesus. Oh,